score over 70, we lose. And uh, I actually thought we did a hell of a job defensively. I think the difference in the game was the free throw line. I was a little disappointed, if I was to be honest. They do have a tendency to draw fouls, but I thought the discrepancy was a little bit tough. Get 69 shots, it's an unbelievable job. But defensively, the only mistake we made, the way we wanted to cover, is our bigs didn't do nothing. Gave up 12 points to Rogers early. That was disappointing. And the other thing that was frustrating was the number of layups we missed in the first half. I mean, AJ took blame for five of them, he said. And you just don't beat a good team on the road. They're a good team. Um, they rebounded them, that was a big deal. They had five turnovers, that was a big deal. We did everything except win the game and we lost that at the free throw line. So uh, they're a good team. Um, I thought our effort was 10 times better than it was at Northwestern, which is very critical because that means somebody's listening and yet uh, disappointed in another tough loss. Um, you, you, did, you mentioned that effort. I guess the fight, the, the fight that, that your guys showed in that second half, you did fall behind. Um, you were able to attack. I guess what did you? What was the difference, maybe, in that middle part of the second half that you guys had? Well, we wanted to move the ball a lot more. It was too much dribbling, and then we moved it early. We didn't move in the middle, and a couple times we got down seven, and we fought back. I thought a big key was fighting back for halftime right at Northwestern. That's where we went from five to, to uh, fifth, 14. And here we were at seven and we cut it down. And, um, we had a little run at the end of the half and that was good. But just that better ball movement. I thought we, uh, I thought we ran some good things. I was really proud of my staff. I thought defensively we did everything we wanted to do. Um, Omos hit a big shot that went on the baseline jumping into us. And uh, they hit two big threes, I think. Uh, one by uh, Hawkins, I believe. I don't know what happened on a cross match. We just did not even guard him. And the other one was uh, Hammonds hit a big three. Um, but, I mean, if we played that good, we would have won three, four more games. Um, that doesn't mean I'm happy the loss or how we played. I'm just telling you, we played a lot better than we've been playing. Tom, you went a little unorthodox um, over your defensively with your matchups there. Like, can you kind of explain the, the thought process behind that and how you saw it play out? Yeah, Doug Wojcik came to me a week ago, two weeks ago, had an idea, and uh, then all of a sudden uh, Purdue did some, something similar. And uh, our bigs just didn't cover it. I mean, that was unexcusable. And I, uh, no sympathy. Um, got a job to do, do your job. And uh, shit, not under Bill Belichick, you should do the job. You know, and uh, so that was disappointing, to be honest with you. Uh, Marty, and, Marty did rebound the ball well, did some other things well, but uh, give him layups. He had, you know, 12 points for the layups at the beginning of the game uh, was a killer. So, um, I loved what we did defensively. I give my staff credit on that. I give the players credit for handling it. Something, as you say, completely unorthodox. Um, and uh, I mean, we just did everything else pretty good except fouling. And I mean, we hold them to 41 33, out rebound them, do a better job on the, uh, you know, the points up turnovers. It was every one we made, we only made seven and yet they scored on, on most of them. So um, I promise this point. Tom, I'm just wondering, you've seen Coleman Hawkins over the years. How have you seen him grow? What, what challenges does he give people? Yeah, I mean, Hawkins is, is getting better. I mean, he's, um, he's done a nice job with his body. I think he's stronger and tougher. Um, I thought early he was just a shooter that wasn't very strong and tough, personally. I thought he was, um, and, and there's been a big change in him. He shoots the ball so quick that uh, we couldn't afford to cheat, and we, uh, you know, it was really, uh, it put some pressure on, and he hit that big three. That was a big three, and just, but, uh, you know, we didn't do an awful job on him. I mean, uh, you know, he go, 
goes four for nine, but he goes three for five from the three. And don't miss many free throws. He's a very good free throw shooting team. We thought that was a big key to the game. Tom. Oh, oh. sorry. Uh, back here. Um, the obviously losing on its own, losing by three to Illinois is a game a lot of people are going to lose. I'm just wondering if, as you look at your team right now, other than the big guys, where where else do you want to see growth for the next? Coming games and coming. I think Jaden, you know, has been playing pretty well. And yet there's a couple things tonight, a couple shot selection things. Uh, Tyson got in foul trouble, and I think he took himself out of the game. Uh, that bothered me a little bit because um, we need Tyson. AJ continues to play at a very high level. Unfortunately, he missed all those layups, but I got, I mean, the effort, the things we asked him to do, I, I, I thought he was very, very good. Um, we want to get. Uh, Booker, some chance. I thought Cohen Carr went in there and did some things. Uh, I'd like to see Malik grow to a consistent player. He was a lot better tonight, you know, after you know, having a game where he gave us nothing. Uh, so I, I, I guess a little more consistency out of him. And then we got to get uh, some of those other bigs, you know, hopefully either Booker or uh, Jackson Kohler. But, you know, he got in there and you know, I mean, these guys are so crazy. I mean, they, <laughs> poor guys, they, they're out two and a half months and they think they're gonna come back and just be able to razzle and dazzle right off the bat and then we didn't get back and it's not his fault. He just, um, that's the problem when you have major injuries during the year. Uh, but we need him because he can score it in there. And uh, even though Monty rebounded it, we thought he had some layups that he missed and uh, that part was frustrating, to be honest with you. So, Everybody's got to improve, but we just got beat by a damn good team um, with the free throw discrepancy like it is. Um, I don't feel good about our performance as far as how hard we played and what we did and how well we rebounded against a team that has been kicking everybody's butt on the boards. So uh, we're going to get better. We're going to grow from here. We're going to get better. Um, everybody will give up on us, and that's fine with me. I don't, I, I don't even blame them. But but I, I, I think I know where this team can still get, and I plan to get in there. You kind of mentioned about the rebound, and your guards were really, I thought Jaden seemed like he was attacking the glass better tonight than maybe he has in a while. And then I wondered also about Tyson's leg, kind of where, where how that was. Yeah, he, 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 he hurt his leg a little bit, but Ty's got to learn to play through those things, you know, and uh, he missed a couple shots at the end. I didn't think I did a very good job. I, I wanted to get him a better shot. Um, maybe with some movement instead of just a one-on-one. -on -one. And yet he felt comfortable with it. I mean, he still shot pretty good, but he didn't shoot as good from the three, and he had a couple good looks. He had a couple good looks at the three that just didn't go to. So, um, you know, we're going to get better. We just got to get better quickly. Tom, uh, it's a 15, to, oh, here. 15 to career high for Rodgers. Um, did, I know we got most of it early, but did, what did you see on that end of the floor that impressed you and what you saw tonight? I give Rodgers a lot of credit. I give Brad a lot of credit. You know, he knows what he can do. He knows what he can't do. In this day and age, every kid's trying to do what they can't do. He didn't do that. He did what he could do. And we did a terrible job of letting him get to the rim. And uh, so I thought he did his job, and we didn't do our job. But... Uh, uh, I love a kid who, uh, you know, everybody's you know, up there trying to shoot threes and you know, he knows what his job is and he knows what he can do. And I think the coach deserves credit for that. The player deserves a lot of credit for that. I've always been a Rodgers fan and uh, I thought he had a couple big plays, but um, those plays he made early um, really hurt us. Um, those were almost like, you know, gift points. Um, and. Uh, and yet he made, he made some nice moves, so give him credit. Time for one or two more. Tom, I'm just curious, how do you see Illinois kind of evolve in these four games without Shannon's? Is there any point or two that sticks out to you? Well, you know, I, I thought we did actually a hell of a job in the mask. And uh, I think what's evolving right now is Hammond is turning into a pretty good player. He, he can shoot the ball, so, he, you know, from three, and he's more dangerous in some ways. but. We're not going to replace a guy like, like Shannon. Um, you know, I know nothing about what happened. It's just, it's just a shame. I just, I hate what's going on in college sports, and I hate what's going on in our society, and I feel bad for 
Brad, for the team, for Shannon, for the girls, for this, for that. I, I, don't, I don't know whose fault they got to watch everything I say because they're going to do something wrong. But uh, I, uh, it's very hard to deal with that in the middle of the year. I mean, he's got enough problems just keeping his team alive. I actually thought he's done a hell of a job um, in dealing with that. And, uh, and I think that the guys that have stepped up, I mean, we put a lot into Goody. We put a lot into um, Don't Ask and we put some into Geary. We knew what, what Hawkins could do and we tried to cover him accordingly. Um, but the, the two guys that beat us, you know, where Shannon, Shannon beat us almost by himself. But Hammond hit a couple of big shots, even though he's only two for seven. So I think he's evolving. Um, I don't know, uh, Dan Jetwood's. Um, he had 20 against us last year, so I don't, I don't know. But I, it's a, it's a tough deal to do what Brad's trying to do in the middle of the year, and uh, I think he's doing a hell of a job. Tom, as far as playing on the road, was this at least a step in the right direction, seeing them respond? Yeah, you know, I, 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 I think as media, um, I don't know where, you know, I mean, I, I don't bother me to play on the road. You know, we have this, we have one on the road, you know, do one on the road, because we have been on the road, it's not because of the road. Um, you know, I mean, we got veterans, I mean, the fans were great. Um, kudos to all the Illinois people that have no students here. And, and effort like that on a late night game, I, I thought it was great. But, uh, you know, we play the schedule we play, so we're only intimidated by the crowds and that. So we're not losing games because we can't win on the road. We're losing games because we didn't win, we didn't play well enough on the road. And uh, there's a big difference. Um, you know, we fought, we did everything we needed to do, we didn't get to the line. And I am a little upset about that. If I'm going to complain about one thing, I am going to complain about it because I did during the game. And one time it was 12 to 1 in the free throws, and that just shouldn't be that way. But um, there were some big plays, and uh, and they made, they made more. So uh, they deserve to win. Uh, we deserve to uh, say that we answered the bell. You know, uh, we were called out a little bit by the coach and by people in the media, and deservingly so. And uh, what you look for then is does your team respond? And uh, I thought we responded. Um, just couldn't get it done. Good team, they beat us. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting back on track. We're going to win some games, so hang on. Thanks. Thanks.